one track, two cars and a stopwatch. It's a fifth gear recharge shootout and this time we're maxing out a pair of fast saloons. We're racing the brutal petrol-powered BMW M340i against Peugeot's brand new EV, the 508 PSE. To see which one wins on sheer performance. The biggest surprise about the 508 PSE isn't its 355 horsepower hybrid powertrain. It's that it's a sports saloon. Fast Peugeots have traditionally been hatchbacks, but with the aggressively styled 508, they have set their sights on beating two key rivals, the Audi S4 and this, the BMW M340i. Breathed on by Beamer's M division to give it upgraded brakes, cooling and suspension, this 3-litre turbocharged petrol-powered 3 Series is a hard act to beat. At just under 51 grand, the Beamer is 3,000 pounds cheaper than the Peugeot. So what have Peugeot created here? Well, it's the first road car in Peugeot's new PSE division, which stands for Peugeot Sport Engineered. And to show they mean business, the oily bit of this 508 has been borrowed from Peugeot's highly rated 208 and 308 GTI models. And that's coupled with two electric motors, one at the front and one at the back. With both electric and petrol power plants combined, the 508 produces 355 horsepower, making this Peugeot's most powerful road car to date. Time to find out how quick it is around the track. Get on the brakes at the bus stop. Brakes are very good, wow. The steering weight is quite nice. I feel there's a good amount of feedback coming through it. However, the car's battery pack does add weight. In fact, the Peugeot tops the scales at 1,850 kilos, though it disguises it quite well. It is actually quite nimble, though the suspension is a bit soft. Given the fact it's got adaptive dampers, I would have liked it to have had more stiffness, really, and less roll. The Peugeot crosses the line in 48.81 seconds. On to the BMW. This is the seventh generation of the BMW 3 Series, which, let's be honest, has been the mid-sized saloon for decades. This M340i is very near the top of their range, so I'm very excited to have a go. Under the hood sits a BMW speciality, a straight-six engine with a turbo thrown in for good measure. Does a great job of delivering the power. This is great fun. In the past, most BMWs were rear-wheel drive, one of the reasons they were so much fun. But times have changed. Like a lot of BMWs today, this is an x drive which means power is supplied to all four wheels. Does that mean I'm going to be denied the big power sliding drifts we've all enjoyed for so many years? I'm going to turn off the toys to find out. It doesn't spin up as easily, I would say, as an M3 or an M4, but you still get the back end stepping out of line as you put the power down in that classic BMW way. So make no mistake, this is still a driver's car. But will it deliver against a stopwatch? Well, it's got a decent chance. For starters, it's 100 kilos lighter than the 508. So, I'm hoping in the braking performance, it should stop quite well when we get to the bus stop. And yes, it does. Let's get the nose in. A little bit of mid-corner understeer there in the change of direction. But then the back end does step out of line when you try and get on the power. And possibly because of this playfulness, the BMW is half a second behind the Peugeot by the first checkpoint. The steering feels very familiar to the previous cars. The back half of the circuit is less technical, so by the second checkpoint, the BMW has reversed the deficit and now leads by almost half a second. A little bit stiff over the bumps and curves, but still better than the Peugeot. Up to the last corner, all back in, a little bit wild. <laughs> right, up the line, up the line. This should be quicker. It's 100 kilos lighter. It's a BMW. And indeed it was, because the 340i crossed the line nearly a second ahead of the 508. Around a short track like this, that's quite a difference. 
If you're looking to take the first steps into EV ownership, the Peugeot proved that hybrid cars can deliver a fun and enthusiastic drive. But when it comes to out-and-out -out thrills, the EV is no match for the petrol-powered Beamer.